Welcome to another video with James Destroy. With the right knowledge, this is what happens as the end result. I would personally love for each and every one of you that watches this video to be another person that tested negative or herpes. And whether you send in your before and after test results will be the fact that you have them, but this definitely could be you and this should be you. Otherwise, if you don't watch this whole entire video, unfortunately, this is what usually happens. We were able to retrieve your test results from the computer. And I suppose you already know, you fail. Hello and welcome everyone. So I got a very important uh, message and, and this is a very important video for each and every one of you. So please watch this whole entire video so you'll be able to understand uh, what, what you need to do and what is really going on. So, first and foremost, everything you think you know about herpes is wrong. And this is not just because of this article, which is back on May 16, 2018. But the biggest problem is that this virus is one that causes shingles and chicken pox. So if you've had either of those, um, you know, this, this can often skew your results, um, which is true to a point. You want to get rid of the issue, whether it's shingles or chicken pox. You want, you want to get rid of it, right? You don't want to keep this in your body. And, you know, I'm not going to go over this more. Because you need to understand what's going on. First off, this is bacteria. Bacteria is living, breathing organism. See how it's alive? This is bacteria. This is a virus. A virus is a protein. Remember that. A protein is something that's going to get inside of your body, but it's not something that you can kill. A protein is just not possible to be killed by anything because it's not alive. So you might be wondering, well, James, how do I get rid of it if I can't kill it? Well, I'll get into that in a moment, so stay with me. This is a fungal infection. This can happen for many different reasons. This ringworm, basically, that's why it has a little ring around it, is bacteria. This you can kill. Remember I just showed you what a bacteria is. Bacteria can be killed. Virus cannot be killed. It's not possible. This is the herpes a virus. You can treat the outside, but it's deep inside the body. But you might be wondering, where is it at? I've read so many things and where it's at. And that's part of the reason why so many people are so misinformed. It's not here in the circulatory system. This is a very important system. Uh, this is very important for your uh, blood flow and your overall health. And it's related to your heart, but the lymphatic system is where herpes is located. And where in the lymphatic system? I, I heard it was in the brain. I, I heard it's in my nerves. You know, it just it just stuck in my body. Like I, I can't get rid of it. Look, you can get rid of it. You have to eat properly. So you definitely can get rid of it. You have to detox, and that means you have to cleanse these particular systems and detox out the protein. The protein is stuck in any one of these particular parts of your lymphatic system. It's a miles long of pipe. If this is clogged up like a drain in your sink or the drain somewhere you know in in your house, anywhere that has plumbing, you have a backup. It's the same thing here, you have a backup. If you have a circulatory system problem you're gonna have definitely heart issues. Uh, I know because I've had it. And this is not easy to fix if you don't know what you're doing. When you know what you're doing, it's very easy to fix. Same thing as your lymphatic system. Two very, very important systems in the human body. And uh, many, many people have not only a circulatory system problem, they have a lymphatic system problem, causing a whole host of issues. 
and it's causing these other issues such as viral proteins to be stuck in your body. And if you already have problems and, and you're one of those people that it's hard for you to exercise because your circulatory system is messed up, your heart is messed up, you know, you have to fix these systems. Uh, black seed oil uh, from New Age is very, very effective on your circulatory system and it will help with kind of in this process with your lymphatic system. Uh, so will the New Age oregano oil. And this video is not about this particular product, but this will actually, actually help um, and is very, very important um, if you want to start moving those systems. Oregano oil is another great tool to help with your lymphatic system. Go to shop, S-H-O-P dot destroy diseases dot com and you'll be able to scroll to the bottom of the site and all the products will be located there or you can click on the links below this video. Also remember all of these fruits should be fresh and not frozen. See how these are fresh? They should also not be dried. You might be wondering, well, James, aren't dates a dried fruit? No, I'm talking about dried cranberries, dried blueberries. You want fresh blueberries, fresh raspberries. If it dies in a couple days, eat it. And then you might be wondering, well, James, how am I going to store this particular food? These airtight glass containers are perfect. I've used a different version of these. Um, there's different shapes and sizes, but you want to make sure they're glass, and you definitely want to make sure that they they seal really tightly. Important uh, detail I want to mention: do not wash the fruit before you put it in any one of these containers. If you wash the fruit and you put it in there, it, it's not going to last as long. So I'm just giving you an example, but you need the fruit is the whole point. The fruit is what's going to help you with your lymphatic system, and you're going to obviously help with your circulatory system because you're putting in the right foods that are going to help with the blood flow. So you're going to fix this system and you're going to fix this system. And you might be wondering, well, James, I have swollen lymph nodes right now. Duh, because you have an infection. And not, not to, you know, be rude. The whole point is that if you have an infection, your body is giving you signs. You have a lymphatic system problem, you're going to get swollen lymph nodes. It, it's just that. It's really that simple. If you have a bacterial infection, you're going to have swollen lymph nodes. If you have a viral infection, you're going to have swollen lymph nodes. So you have to fix these problems. You cannot kill this. Remember that. We went over that. Um, you can definitely get rid of bacteria. You can put the oregano oil in this. Um, I'm not sure if black seed works on I'm going to have tried it, but I know oregano oil works extremely well. I've had ringworm and it's very, very effective. Now, just because I got rid of the outside doesn't mean it's on the inside. It doesn't mean I fixed the inside of the problem that could have caused it. But pretty much when you have a bacterial infection and it's on the surface of the skin, that's where the bacteria is going to live. So you don't have to worry about it at that point because you got rid of the issue. But when it comes herpes and you say well I got rid of the outside problem I treated it I mean I use all these things and it, it, it just got rid of it James it's gone no it's not gone it's inside your lymphatic system you want to also avoid the foods that are clogging up your lymphatic system which are the foods that I'm showing right here these are the foods that are causing the problems this is the the gunk and the grime and the, and the dirt that's clogging up your sewer system just as the hair and the nonsense, uh, the grease would clog up the the, the uh, drains and the piping in, in your home where water would flow. So if you want a smooth running lymphatic system, you certainly don't want to eat these foods when you're trying to, to cleanse these particular systems. And you also want to limit these foods after you're done with your particular detoxification process and your cleansing process. Can you get reinfected? Let's say you clean your whole lymphatic system and it's gone, right? You're, you're, you're negative now and you're moving forward with your life. Does it mean it's going to come back if you start eating junk food again? No. Can you get reinfected? Absolutely. We went over this. 3.7 billion people under the age of 50. That's a lot of people. That's half the freaking world. So the point is that 
can you get reinfected again? Absolutely. But if you keep your lymphatic system clean, it's going to be much easier and the body will be able to get rid of it much faster. Because remember, it's viral. It's a protein stuck in your body. So keep that in mind. So what can you do to help get rid of this? Well, you can do the teas. Danny Lyon tea, I do this every day. Great for uh, stimulating liver function, kidney function. Um, you can do the detox tea. Uh, you know, all of this is um, on, on my channel. I'll put the link below this video. But again, you've got all these different herbs in here that are going to really help with your kidney and liver function. So is intermittent fasting. You get the 16-8 window is the most popular. So, for example, you're fasting 16 hours, you're eating within an 8-hour window. So from midnight to 8, you know, to, to midday, you're, you're basically not eating anything. And then from midday to 8 p.m., you're eating in, in your window. Um, so that's basically how this is just a very kind of vague and brief uh, chart here, but you, you get the idea. So you're fasting for 16 hours, you're not eating, and you can drink water in the beginning. As time goes on, it'll be easy to do this dry, no food, no water. Uh, just a bit of warning and caution, don't do this in 100 degree weather. Um, if, if you're losing fluids in your body, exercise and things like that, common sense, you need to drink liquids. So don't do that. If you're in a comfortable climate, you're sitting at home, you're there for 16 hours, you know, eight hours of this is sleeping, you should be fine. Um, if it's 90 degrees in your place, you're not fine. You need to drink liquids. So it's pretty simple. Uh, figure out the window that's going to work best for you and move from there. So now that everyone hopefully gets this idea here that fruit is what you need, fresh, not frozen, not dried, this is what you need. Any questions, go ahead and let me know. Keep moving forward, clean these systems out, and you'll be able to get rid of this issue. And you won't have it anymore. Just keep your lymphatic system clean. Um, periodically do some cleanses, and you'll be able to uh, keep this clean. One more very important point I want to mention. Uh, avoid all stimulants. This includes coffee. Uh, unfortunately, coffee is very acidic and it's going to uh, interfere with the detoxification process however dandelion tea if it's roasted dandelion tea will actually uh, help with this process and it's something a lot of people have s used to help switch over from coffee since it's um, got the sweet and slightly bitter taste it's pleasantly roasted um, i personally love this tea and um, it does taste similar to coffee i was never a big coffee drinker but this this tea is very good and you can drink up to you know three cups a day if you if you really wanted to so that'll really help uh, also you need to avoid all drugs this includes recreational drugs uh, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news but if you want to take an aspirin um, you got a little headache I mean that's a bigger problem in, in inside the body and why you need to do this uh, particular detoxification to really uh, alleviate those headaches naturally so you don't get them um, but if you are on a pharmaceutical drug because you have you know seizures or some other serious condition you definitely want to talk to your doctor first because um, that's something that's going to help keep you alive you, you, you probably don't want to cut that out um, so really find out what's going to work best for you um, before you go ahead and uh, make the, that decision and always check with your health care provider first. Um, don't just cut out any drug cold turkey, um, especially if you have a very serious illness that the drug may be helping you with um, for the time being. So keep that in mind. Well, I just want to congratulate everyone that has actually made it to this point and watched the whole entire video. Uh, as you can see, this video was very informative and I would suggest watching this video another couple times. This way you really have all this information absorbed. Uh, sometimes you got to watch things more than once. Um, you don't have to, but this is definitely for your, um, for your benefit. Any questions, go ahead and let me know. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye.